Hi everybody, I'm Charles, I'm the vicar from St Peter's Church in Hammersmith and this is a video for uh, children and families at St Peter's uh, and as you can see I am outside today uh, this is my uh, my daily activity, my daily exercise I don't know about you but staying indoors, being cooped up at home all day long drives me wild so uh, always make sure every day you get out there you're allowed your daily exercise so I go out, I have a run, I have a walk, I go on the bike, and uh, it's all uh, not just about keeping yourself fit physically, but it, it's what helps to keep us together kind of mentally, doesn't it? Uh, so I want to talk to you a little bit today about, about sheep, or specifically about shepherds. In, uh, in our church this Sunday, the, the reading from the Bible is all about Jesus. Uh, it's a reading about Jesus as the Good Shepherd. And it's a kind of theme that comes up time and time again in the Bible in different ways. Uh, you'll know, I guess, a very famous parable, a story that Jesus told uh, about the lost sheep. I'm sure you'll all have heard it. But uh, just to remind you, let's watch it again now. This is Jesus. hey Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Jesus taught everyone about God's love. All kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ugh, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. Hmm. So Jesus told them this story. If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them gets lost, uh, hmm. what will he do? Who stay here? Won't he leave the 99 others and go to search for the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he's found it, hey, he will joyfully carry it home. When he gets home, he will call together his friends and neighbors saying, Oh, everyone, come here, come here. Celebrate with me because I have found my lost sheep. In the same way, there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who returns to God than over 99 others who haven't strayed away. Well, you all know that story, I'm sure. Uh, but of course, it's not the only story about shepherds or sheep in the Bible. In the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 10, there's a whole passage there about Jesus as the the good shepherd, the one who is uh, willing to, to lead his sheep, to look after them, to keep them safe, uh, and even to lay down his life for the sheep uh, if need be. And uh, of course, I mean, that was a real thing in those days. Uh, back in Israel, they didn't just have wolves who would attack sheep, they had lions even. Uh, that's why back in the Old Testament, you remember that story about King David killing Goliath with a sling? I mean, he learned how to use a sling like that uh, because he started out as a shepherd uh, and that's what he used to protect the sheep uh, against wolves and, and even and even lions and uh, so that story that picture of Jesus as the good shepherd is is, is, is a great reminder of, of, of Jesus uh, uh, wanting to look after us and keep us safe to lead us into new pastures so we have plenty to eat uh, to protect us from danger and evil and uh, I suppose at a time like this, you know, it's a great message to kind of keep hold of. It's really easy to feel frightened, to feel alone uh, at the moment. And that reminder uh, that God is with us, that God is looking out for us, God is keeping us safe uh, and keeping us free from harm is, uh, is a great message uh, to keep hold of. Uh, let's sing together.
So let's spend a few moments in prayer. Lord, we want to pray for all those we love, for members of our own family and for friends, for those that we live with, especially for those that we can't see or meet at the moment. We pray that you would keep them safe. We pray for all those working to keep us safe and well, for people who work for the NHS and for carers, for members of the government and all who have to make difficult decisions at this time, for our own parents and carers, for our teachers, for all those who are working to keep our country going. And we pray for ourselves as well. Help us to remember that you are the Good Shepherd and that even when we feel lost and alone, you love us and you will find us. And as Jesus taught his disciples, so we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So if you've got time at home, you could even have a go at making your own little fluffy sheep as a reminder of the Good Shepherd and the story of the lost sheep. Uh, these ones here are quite easy to make using a kind of pom-pom method. Uh, you might have to improvise a bit with some parts of it like the eyes, but basically you really just need wool at home. Even if you don't have white wool, uh, you could use different colours of wool and end up with a kind of fabulous multicoloured sheep, uh, which could be quite cool. Uh, so uh, if you don't know how to make these, uh, watch the video, learn and do have a go. If you have a go at making a sheep at home, especially if it's a beautiful coloured one, then do take a picture or, 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 or video and, and send it to me. It's, uh, it's great to hear from you, hear how you're getting on. Uh, keep in touch. Uh, until the next time, God bless.